And I'm sitting there like, ain't, I'm telling him, like, when you, ain't no bus stop at the traffic lights. You're not supposed to stop at the traffic light. The bus stop is like probably 10 feet before you get to the bus, the um, traffic light. So when she told me, I'm like, when the first bus driver, she told me um, to stop like kind of like, I would say 20 feet before the traffic light. And then she came around, she was like, no, you got to stop at this spot. And that's 10 feet before the traffic light. I'm like, all right. Whatever, at least it makes sense, you know, a little bit, a little bit, because it's not at your traffic light, it's at the traffic light, it's like about 10, it's like 20, 10 feet before the traffic light, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to stand right here, and then yesterday, he's like, he passed right by me when I'm standing in that exact spot, I'm holding out my hand and everything, and he drove right past and told me, go down to the traffic light. I'm like, y'all do not stop. We don't stop at the track. You're not even supposed to stop at the track like and wait for the bus because, like I said before in one of my videos, because I made it about this because they're doing the same thing again. So you can be standing there waiting to cross right there. You know, they don't, like, if, if I'm standing there at the traffic light, I could be crossing, so therefore they're not going to stop for you. So I'm like, you can tell me as many times to stop at that traffic light or stand at that traffic light. I'm not going to because you could think I'm crossing and you can go right past me. You know, you're trying to set me up for failure. So that pissed me off. You know, I'm like, you don't do that. So then I got on the bus and I'm asking, I'm like, why? I'm like, she told me to stand right there like 10 feet before the traffic light. Why is, y why is you telling me to come to the traffic light? stand at the traffic light, y'all don't do that, and then they like, oh, every bus driver different, I'm like, yeah, but I'm only going to put up with so much, you know, I've been, I told them that last time, she told me 20 feet before the traffic light, 10 feet before the traffic light, you know, and at this point, I'm just like, no, nah, I'm cool, because y'all not about to keep misguiding me, misdirecting me, y'all trying to set me up to miss the bus. Like, it's already, you know, it's clear, it's obvious now that y'all trying to set me up to miss this bus. Um, and I can't afford to be missing no bus. So then, so like I said, they all on the bus, like, yeah, um, it, it depends on the driver, it depends on the driver. And I'm like, like I said, I, I said that a couple times, and I was forgiving, but this time, you know, y'all not about to keep doing the same thing over and over again. You can look it up. You are not supposed to stand at the traffic light for a bus. You're not supposed to stand at an intersection for a bus. You stand 10 feet behind where you will see. You can look every time. You can look at the um, freaking bus stops. The bus signs everywhere. It's like 10 feet before the traffic light because you're not supposed to stand at the traffic light. You're giving them the opportunity to pass you by. And like I, like, that's what I'm saying. I, I keep telling him this. I keep telling them this. I'm like, y'all know what y'all doing. You know, you trying to set me up to miss this bus. So like I said, they pissed me off with that too. That's all. I'm like, I'm not even about to mess with these. I'm not even about to go out there, you know, a lot no more because they, they like I said, they playing with me. You know, you playing with my time, the bus, and you playing with my money, the little laundry thing that said sell, on sale for for $8.00. And then you're gonna talk. You're gonna take the freaking paper out, and um, and make it seem like it was never in here, you know. So when I was on my way here, I'm like, yeah, like I said, that it just ain't gonna change. People ain't gonna change. You can you can go about your life and you can change. You can you know have a different perspective and you can you know mature and outgrow them, but they're never going to change. They're always going to be petty. They're always going to be scandalous. And that's what it is. I'm like, she is so scandalous. It just don't change with her. She always got some type of, you know, interior motive, you know, some type of hidden agenda. These are people with hidden agendas that I'm dealing with every once in a while, every occasion. You know, occasionally they come back and they try to nitpick at you again and nitpick at you again. You know, before I decided to go to that store, I was like, I should go to the other store because I was, you know, I was kind of disregarding that store just because of that. But, um, you know, my son got had early release, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. 
But that's when I was like, I'm just about to leave it in God's hands. I'm leaving people like her specifically in God's hands. Because it's some things you just can't, you know, you can't control, especially people like that. And um, so, yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to still buy it because money is money. You know, you can play with my money. You can play with all this other stuff. You know, you can play with these things and play with, you know, play what you can play with. Because obviously they're in that position where they can play with you with these things. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm going to leave you in God's hands because, you know, money is money. Even though I took that loss and, you know, you made me seem like, you made me, that's what I'm saying. She, every time I go to the store, she just make it seem like, especially when it's a lot of people around, she make it seem like it's something wrong with me. Oh, you know, this was never in there. I don't know what you're seeing, this type of stuff. And I'm just like, you know what? You know, like I said, people going to be people. She can be scandalous all she wants to. But like that, like I said, people like that, you just got to leave in God's hands. Go ahead and get what you get. And, you know, it's a cost. It's a price. But that's just the world. That's how the world is. You know, it's built around money. And you can get mad about the money or you can just grab it and, you know, keep it in mind of, you know, what happened and just, you know what, next time I'm going to go to this store. Next time I'm going to, you know, I'm not, I'm going to avoid that situation. But like I said, at times, like, you know, people like me in my situation where we can't always go to different stores and you're on foot and you're walking and stuff like that, you know, you can't and you don't have that time and stuff like that to go out of your way then this is the type of stuff that you're going to have to deal with. This is what you're going to run into, people that just won't let go and people that just keep picking with you and, you know, messing with you. You know, like I said, I don't like, just like I said before, like I don't get second chances. You know, I don't get second chances because that's just giving that person the chance to do it all over again. But like I said, when you put in that position where you got to face it, it's all about you. Did you know? At least you can face it with a different mindset. At least you know now. At least you got the experience to where what you're facing, you're now prepared to face it in a whole different way. You know, even if they didn't grow up, which is unfortunate for you because it's kind of pulling you back into that mindset. They're trying to trigger you back to, you know, react in the way you react before because people change, times change. But those type of people don't change, so they this is their chance to show everybody else that's coming in new and they're still the same person, you're still the same person. That's their chance to show these type of people, oh, you know, they're trying to point you out all over again, like, yeah, this is that person, this is that person, you know, those type of people that hold grudges and hold on to stuff and won't let go and just try make their life about picking with you, you know. Just like I said, people with hidden agendas. So, yeah, I'm about to read the mouth for you <laughs> because I don't know. As an adult, these pizza rolls are just as good as when we were younger. I don't tell you. So, we don't. Okay. Let me talk to y'all later. I'm going to see y'all later.